Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. Um, if you had seen, literally last Sunday's the last vlog, um, you would know that I've got my new drawers now for my wardrobe. Um, so yeah, and I've also got back from my nan and granddad's. So I'm just trying to sort everything out. Um, so from the last clip you would have seen of that video it's still sunday um it's just later on now it's like just gone 20 past three um but i'm just been trying to sort out and go through the stuff in my room um i've now fully sorted out well most of my clothes i've just got my workout clothes to sort out and take out of my old drawers to put into like a storage bag um because they won't fit into my new drawers and plus i don't really wear them that often for them to have to go into a drawer so they're just going in one of them storage bags um and be put in my wardrobe but yeah i'm also like really sweaty so don't mind if like my mascara is like all over my face um but yeah i've just been doing that emptying my suitcase um i'm trying to get that done and also somewhat sorting out some of the baby's stuff because i need to put down my rack my like um little clothes rack rail thing um but i need to put that down in a bit i just need to finish off taking off Jax's clothes and all of that stuff and putting that into the drawers um i've got four drawers so the top one of my old drawers um which is literally just next to my desk the top one's gonna be Jax's. the second one i'm thinking of putting it as my new baby that's gonna that i'm gonna buy soon um well in a couple of months i'll buy um clothes in that one so then it's in like age order so it'll be like jacks on top and then it'll be the second baby or the new baby that i want to get soon um to close because she will hopefully be around the same size as him so have a separate drawer for her for all her clothes and then aria's the third drawer and then the fourth drawer i'm just having as like the drawer where it has all like the mittens and the dummies and stuff like that in so I'm thinking of doing it that way um and any like extra blankets or whatever and the books and stuff so yeah I'm hoping to do it like that actually the box of Jax's shoes I might be able to fit underneath this um underneath the drawers so I might be able to put his shoes that way so then the shoes don't need to go in there I might do it that way in that and then just get another one of them storage boxes um for the girl shoes i might see if that it works that way anyway um yeah i have now got a bed full of stuff um of baby stuff that i need to sort out and organize um two bags which i need to go through and i thought i'll show you guys what i brought home and the new books that I got, which I will be reading next year, or possibly a couple years later. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I thought I'd do that. Um, and yeah, go from there. I've also got a few baby stuff in this bag as well. So I'll start with my green one, which is like a got a lot of random stuff in, and then the spider-man one i think there's one book in there because there was a book in my suitcase um from my mum's friend um which i actually need to know need to see if she wants that one back after i've read it um and then also in the spider-man bag i've got my new parcel which is my f1 jumper which i thought i'd show you guys um which i need to open and then also like a bunch of food and stuff but yeah oh in this one i've got my spare charging cable for my ipad that can be put over there um because i might also set a pile or so um somewhere of stuff that i need to pack this week for my next holiday 
somewhere else and go from there. I've got some kinder cards and that I saw these in the shop and went, oh, what are they like? And I never had one. So I've got um, four packets in this and there's two in a packet. So I've got them to snack on whenever. Um, I've got them. My nan gave me some underwear that didn't fit her. So she gave them to me. Obviously she's like had one pair. Um, so I didn't have them, but I also took a pair out to look. They're like full brief ones. So I thought, you know what, I'll just, I don't really wear underwear like this, but I will wear them when I'm on my period. And that they can be my period underwear, even though they're white. They can be my period underwear. Um, that might be a bit TMI, but yeah. They also need washing probably because they're still in the packet. So yeah, I've got four pairs out of the five. Um, so yeah. And then my nan also gave me a lip oil. She gave me a mascara, but I don't know where I put the mascara. Um, if it's in one of these bags or if it's in all of my makeup because i was doing my makeup as she gave it to me so it might be in here yes yeah, in here and then i've also got one for my sister as well i've also got one of these for my sister as well somewhere um but this is meant to be like a color changing one it was meant to be clear it was meant to come clear and then uh change the colour of like your lips or bring out the natural pigment in your lips but um the gloss is pink so <laughs> didn't come how it was supposed to but she had a few spares so she gave one to me and then I also have another one for my sister which I put somewhere I just need to work out where it's gone um yeah, and then also a mascara, which is one of the, just like the pole mascaras without like many um, little lines or so on, um, like the brush, it's just like a pole one and then you do that for the mascara, so she got me, she gave me one of them. I'm um, sorry, I need to put one aside for my sister. <laughs> to give to my sister. Um, but yeah. There is that. And then that is true. Oh, here's my sister's one. I'll give that to my sister later on. And then there's two blankets. There's this mint greeny one. And then this pinky one. Um, which is like a hospital -y kind of a blanket kind of thing i think this mint green one's longer than this one because this one feels like a lot thicker when i'm holding it but yeah so obviously jacks will have probably the mint greeny one and then i might give this one to my new baby since she won't have a blanket at the moment and the other two have a few so yeah i got them i think they need washing because they've still got the tags on um and then there's a few baby clothes which i think some of these baby clothes will be going to the new baby um there's this a mickey mouse um romper with an m on it which will be going to jacks um which is a three to six months thing but i think it lo looks more boyish than girlish to me um i guess a girl could wear it it's just to me it looks more boyish than a girl's piece of clothing so jacks has got something and then there's this top and bottom set this is the bottoms with the little like ruffled turn up bottoms thing um, which is zero to three months, which will be the new baby. Hopefully, it will fit into this with this top, which has like the ruffly kind of bottom and ruffles on the neck. 
and then obviously these lovely flower pattern so there's that outfit which is ready for the new baby and then there's this bambi set which is gorgeous this mint green with like bambi on and thumper mint green joggers and then which is three to six months i think the flowery pink set is zero to three months and then there's the matching jumper which i might use this for the new baby um jacks could probably buy this as well but i'm thinking more new baby because jacks has his um car jugger and jumper set and then i'm thinking when jacks wears that the new big baby that i have the new girl can wear this set and they can be in their like joggers and jumper set together which i think will be really cute i also have my keys in that i was wondering what they were i didn't know if i left them in this big bag or i left them in put them in my handbag so they need to go downstairs um because i always take my keys with me when i go um not that i'm really gonna end up using them anyway but yeah i put them in that bag while i'm down there and then yeah anyway i got some teddies three teddies there's this mummy one and then there's these two other little plain babies teddies um and that so yeah got them and then what else have i got in here i have got a bunch of flowers blue roses which my mum got to put on my grandma's grave so her nan's grave and then she took out no her auntie's grave great aunt grave great aunt's grave i don't know someone in the family's grave that wanted a nan or someone else um so nan had different flowers but yeah it was to put on someone's grave she took the ones that she wanted and that and then she got other flowers for her bed for the room um so yeah i've got the rest so there i'm gonna have pink and blue flowers in my pot that's in my cupboard um so yeah there's that and then i think this is stuff that i took out of somewhere out of my purse yeah this is the stuff i took out of my purse um oh i got a new ring my mum bought a ring but in two sizes so she gave me the size that didn't fit and that she kind of fits me so it's like a blue diamondy ring I can stay in that for now and then my nan found that she had another pot um of the sister co nail varnishes um she had a duplicate of one which is arctic so she gave it to me um and that so yeah i got a mat which can stay in there i'm literally just throwing this stuff around randomly in my bedroom and then i think i went through all this hair stuff with you guys um in a couple videos ago or i might have not have because it might have been um in part of the video which i had to re-film so i'll just go quickly over it with you guys um bow flowery headband with actual band on it um this black um headband whole bandana headband and then a red bandana some of this will be used for me some of this will be used for the babies um two white ribbons and that i did use one of the white ribbons when i was down there um this green scrunchie orange burnt orange country maroony burgundy color scrunchie um two more different headbands um like a 
navy scrunchie. Two orange um, ribbons. And then like a mustardy yellow scrunchie and like a pink scrunchie, like a light pinky, dusty pinky scrunchie. And then a butterfly pop socket kind of thing, which I'll actually leave separate from all the hair bands and stuff actually. Um, and then what else have I got in here? My headphones. That they were put in there. Um, no book and pens. Um, my nail polish I took down. Do my mum's toes. I'm running out of space. Um, some soda twist carry bows which i might share with my sister because i'm not gonna like, want the cherry cola ones because i don't really like coke flavored sweets i'll eat the rhubarb lemon and strawberry apple ones but the cherry cola i probably won't eat so they will be shared with my sister charging cable for my phone charger um and then some napoleon ice cream arrow melts for my sister because i didn't really like them that much when i last got them um because i don't like strawberry ice cream a list of stuff that i need to give to my sister can go right there um, a book for the babies with a bookmark. So I'll put that with their other books for there for now. And then I got two pin badges. And that, this one is really cute. Which is, I don't know what care bear that is. But I just liked it because it was like a mint green bear. And then it has like a nice heart bubble. Bubble balloon. And then there's this like, mm, I think this is nighttime bear. I'm oh, sorry which is the blue one with like a little hat on to go to bed and holding a heart which is really cute so I've got a couple pin badges and I need to figure out where to put them because <laughs> I have no clue where I'm going to put them but i got them and then this s'mores dairy milk caramel nut crunch bar and then everything else left in this bag i think is books i think i got these books from like two different places there's my nan's work which is like the community center um where i got a few books and then i got some more in a charity shop but i don't know which ones i got which to be honest i know this one which i'm going to give to my dad um which is the tour de france um because he watches it so i thought you know what i saw it i'll see if my dad wants to read it and everything to give it to my dad and stuff so yeah I might have a quick flick through it to see what it's like but yeah i might talk to my sister about seeing if we give it to him for father's day or i just give it to him anyone um yeah this one was from the community center which you just give like a little bit of a donation to get some books um and then these last lot i have no clue where i got them from there is the luck of the draw by Kate Claiborne. Claiborne. And that a an engagement fake engagement to the, to the man sworn to despise her. What could go wrong? Kind of one. Um so yeah, so I've got this one. 
and that's winning the lottery um, allows Zoe to quit her job as an attorney um, and then something about Aiden needing a fiance needs a bride to win a bet so yeah there's that one which is cool um most of these i hadn't even heard, well i think i hadn't heard of any of these books um the only book i had heard of which was in the community center was it ends with us which was colleen hoover and i was thinking I literally bought that a couple months ago or a month ago. <laughs> that, so I was like, if I had just waited, I could have just got it from there. But oh well. Anyway, and then another book I got was Huggy and Kisses. Um, from Clara Christensen and that which seems like a Christmassy cottagey one so it seems like a wintery one um with Kristen and Bo oh it's part of Denmark part of Denmark Bo is ashamed to admit she has never heard of somewhere in Denmark. Set in Denmark, that's quite cool. Um but yeah, so I got that one. And then also Do Your Worst by Rosie Dunnan. Um, which seems like a witchy castle kind of one. And and an occult expert and disregarded archaeologist walk into a castle kind of thing which seems cool so supernaturally kind of stuff um but yeah so i thought that would be cool also i'm probably butchering all these like names authors names but got that one um i've still got like a bunch of books to read but i'll probably end up reading these next year or in a few more years later on down the line or so but you can never have too many books even though I've got nowhere to put all these books so they might have to go under my bed for now but yeah and then there's Summer at the Chateau I think that's how you pronounce it by Jennifer mm, Burnett I think and that about someone's husband tragically dies she inherits the chateau um and then inherits she also inherits a mystery lodger and her four-year-old son pixie sampson's husband tragically dies she inherits the beautiful chateau um but unknown to her she also inherits a mystery lodger justine martin and her four-year-old son i'm saying it's interesting i had read the back of all these books beforehand anyway and then there's calling mrs christmas when i see a christmas book at this point i'm like i can never not pick it up because i love christmas to death and not that I really read much around Christmas time, but I just love Christmas, so I thought, you know what? And this is by Carol Matthews. And plus the cover is really pretty. Um, this one I have no clue what it's about because I didn't even read the back. Um, Casey has been out of work for a while, but she has no idea. Drawing on her love for Christmas, she began charging for small things, dropping presents, writing cards, tree decorating. Soon she is a huge 
soon she's in huge demand and Casey's business calling Mrs. Christmas is born. Carter Randall wants to make his Christmas special for his children so he enlists Chrissy's help. So this is another like The words are small and it seems like a massive book. Um seems like another one with a kid in or children in because it says children. Um and then four more. I've got murder on C. Okay. I have no clue what that says. Murder on C by Julie. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that last name. Um which is Oh, this is around Christmas time as well. I didn't even <laughs> clock that. I just went, oh, that seems cool. It's a mystery one. Let's pick that up. Um, the festive month is kicking off in style. Pearl is rushed off her feet. She is busy running her restaurant, planning a family Christmas and providing mulled wine for the church fundraiser. When Christmas cards are beginning to arrive all over town, filled with spiteful messages from an anonymous writer. Poisoned pen cards are, after all, a matter for the police. So yeah, there's that one. And then there's the Village Green Affair by Rebecca Shaw. Um, which is a mysterious visitor um arrives in or the town or the village i have no clue how to pronounce that village snooping around while keeping his cars close to his chest soon the village is buzzing with rumors well with a rumor and outrage um it's someone planning to hold a market on the green Oh, is someone, the visitor, planning to hold a market on the picturesque green? Meanwhile, the Neil's marriage is on rocky ground, according to unhappy Liz. Ooh, but blissfully unaware. Neville is planning their silver wedding anniversary celebration. The party, the party and the market mark both the beginning and the end of two relationships, but who is really to blame? Seems good. Oh my God. That's pretty cool. In the book it says who actually lives in the town. So it says like the name and then what their job is and then it also says like children of people as well which is quite cool there's a taxi driver head teacher owner of some house school keeper royal oak while well, barman at the royal oak to a pub and stuff musician quite cool and it also says that people are retired and stuff and it gives a layout of the town <laughs> or village but yeah I was just looking in here to see if it was part of a series which it might be because it's tales from Turnham Malplus, I think that's the town's name, um, which says all oh, loads and it's the bottom one. <laughs> so it could be part of a series. Oh, I'll probably have to look it up. Um, but yeah, and then she's also got another series. So, yeah, that's 
cool so i've got that one and then i've got a highland christmas by m dot c dot beer beer ton which is just a christmasy one which is also about crime oh it seems like the grinch then someone steals a christmas tree and lights from the nearby village and stuff and people having a flat tire in that there is no holiday from crime yeah there is that one a hamish macbeth murder mystery it says at the bottom so i don't know if someone dies but yeah there's that one and then there's the jane austen book club i don't know what this one would be about but it sounded cool um karen joy fowler um people meet Six people meet once a month to discuss Jane Austen's novels. They are ordinary people, um, but all wound up in different ways, all mixed up about in their lives and relationships. So, uh, over the six months they have met, they meet, marriages are tested, affairs begin, unsuitable arrangements become suitable, and under the guiding eye of Jane Austen, some of them even fall in love so yeah i thought that was cool i mainly just picked it up because it said jane austen book club um and i wanted to start reading some jane austen i know it isn't jane austen's um book but i was thinking it must be cool if it's got stuff about jane austen in it even if it is just part of her book um and that a bit yeah oh and then it comes to talk about on like the front parts of the cover other side of the cover about how the book club came to be and stuff but yeah so that is all the books i got that is that. let me move all the books a bit so then I can get into the other bag. Oh, and then the book from my mum's friend is A Tale of Two Kitties, which is two cats, one man, and a great big life-changing adventure. Um, because it's about a man, Nick, um, has a, his life changed forever when he become a reluctant cat owner and everything and changing from not really liking cats or being a cat loving person and that into being a cat person and loving cats and stuff so yeah there's also that one by Nick Harding which is by the person it's written about so yeah there's that and then there is my parcel which I'll open now but show you guys in a bit I'll go through everything else first um, I've got some popcorn, salted popcorn will go to my sister um, sweet and salted I will have and probably share because um, my sister doesn't really like sweet popcorn oh, my but um i've got a few mini like terry's chocolate orange things um a box of salted caramel truffles which there should be like four in there i think um a massive bar of like me milka um chocolate and biscuit oh it's quite a wet because it was raining some corn crackers for my sister, a Red Bull, my mum bought me a Red Bull because it had Max Verstappen on it, 
so yeah there's <laughs> that and then in here there is a few cakes obviously most of this is all cake downstairs from my mum's friend um got two chocolate fudge cupcakes which i'll probably share with my dad i'll have one and then my dad can have one and then there's a tray of cakes they're a bit smushed but tray of cakes three different cups of cake which i might put the food going downstairs in this one stop bag um another one of the cherry chocolate orange things some uh, mint straws and then some candy floss because there was a fair going on um so even though i didn't go to the fair um because i don't like crowds and we managed to get some candy floss the next day or so and it's kind of squished <laughs> um so my sister can have the yellow i'm gonna have the green and yeah that is everything that i bought home so now i need to pack all this stuff away and put it somewhere so it's gonna be fun i might put everything for my sister in this bag and then i can just hand it to her apart from the popcorn the popcorn can go downstairs but everything else can go in here i swear there was another pin badge or something oh yeah they're in my handbag and then there's also two um key rings oh did the other pin badge go there um so i've got this key ring with a blue flower and stitch and it also says she believed she could so she did from my mum's friend um and then i've got this one and that which i might just clip onto like my bag or something um which come from a chocolate shop well sweet shop and it come with like a, some chocolates but i had the chocolates when i was down there so yeah, I've got this one and then I've got two love heart um, pins one that says be you and then another one that says be kind and that I know there was one that said hugs on it and then there was another one that said oh what was the other one that it said I think there was like six different ones of these that you could get um yeah I've got these two my mum bought me these two which I need to figure out somewhere to put. But yeah, but I've got a lot of stuff that I need to figure out where to put. But yeah, anyway, on to my parcel. Um, I got this top. It was, does it say how much it was? No. But I got free shipping. I got it in a large. It was, I ordered it. Is that when i ordered it yeah i ordered it on the 6th may the 6th so after lando won in miami um so yeah this was made me just to commemorate um his win his first win so i got it in a large i also bought it and it said it would take like four to six weeks or so i think it was um because obviously it was made to order and everything but yeah i got this Orlando norris like kind of license plate um hoodie so it says may miami 2024 norris and then mclaren um and i just got it in this like sand colored sweatshirt with like a light brown embroidery the default colors was a black sweatshirt with like orange embroidery on it and I was thinking, as nice as that would be, because it's McLaren, um, I probably wouldn't wear it that much because of the orange. And I've got a lot of black sweatshirts, so I thought, you know what, I'll go with this one. 
because I like it so much um, and it looks really cool. So I've got that, so I need to wash this so I can take it on holiday and everything. But yeah, I got it in a large just so I could like wear it and lounge around the house in it. Um, and it'd be nice. And that, and that way I know it will definitely fit and be a bit oversized. Yeah, so I'm going to tidy up my room a bit now. I've been talking for like 40 minutes so far, so this might be a long vlog. Um, but yeah, or just a kind of a Saturday kind of vlog, Sunday vlog on possibly a little bit left after. But yeah, so I'm going to try and tidy up my bed a bit, um, sort out Jax's clothes so I can take down my clothing rack and go from there today, I think. I'm still currently on watching the Italian Grand Prix in that, so yeah. Also, my mum bought me this mixed berries boost sports drink to drink in the car, but I never drank it in the car, so I'm drinking it now. And that, so yeah. Also, I forgot to say in the last vlog, literally, Saturday night, all I had was like one small Chardonnay and that was it. <laughs> Didn't really drink much when I went to the pub and I literally had one drink again, but it was like a smaller drink. But yeah, I'm going to crack on with sorting out my bed. I was going to possibly change my bed this week, but... I don't know if I will be able to have time to with also having to sort out the rest of my room and repacking and doing the washing and everything so yeah but I am going to the tip with my dad tomorrow um so I've got that to do but yeah I might possibly wash my bed I might not since I've got a lot of washing to do already so yeah fun times but yeah i'm gonna crack on and finish sorting out my room especially since i have like barely any space in this room right now so i've got stuff all over my bed stuff on my floor so yeah i'm gonna finish tidying up my room especially since it's just gone four o'clock um so let's see how long it takes me to tidy up my room a bit and go from there but hi guys it's tuesday now um i didn't really feel much yesterday because i have like seven loads of washing to do yesterday um well i haven't even done all the seven i've still got like two of the seven loads to do um but I was using, I was pegging out the washing yesterday because it was nice and sunny. So I managed to wash five loads and get four of the loads pegged out and dried. So yeah, I managed to do that before like seven. And then when it hit like half six, seven, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to be pegging out anymore because I just want to chill upstairs and I needed a shower last night anyway um well i was gonna have one like sunday night but obviously i had a lot to do on a sunday with obviously getting my new chest of drawers in my room to set out my washing um well to sort out and reorganize them drawers to then also sort out the baby clothes to put my like wardrobe like gray rack down and yeah and then also sort out my suitcase and my other bags and stuff that I bought back. So yeah, I didn't really end up having one on Sunday. So I had one last night. Um, but yeah, so I'm now currently doing the last lot of washing that I need to do. Um, and then I know I'm going to have some more on Thursday to do. But what I'm doing is, as I'm doing the washing, I'm taking out 
of my washing pile that has been cleaned to stuff that I'm going to take on holiday and putting it aside so I'm not putting it away and or wearing it or whatever um but yeah I haven't even sorted out the underwear or anything to put to take away I've just put them back and then I'll sort that out near the time but all of my my bottoms and all of that I'm putting to a side um but yeah the house looks weird because so I come back and my room was like changed a bit because obviously I had the new drawers out um well my old drawers out in my room and that which is now replaced the clothing rack and where my um washing basket was it's been placed there my washing basket has been placed where my blankets were because my blankets have been put in my cupboard with my new chest of drawers um but yeah my room looks different and then in the front room our old coffee table has been moved because we got um like two smaller ones which can slot under the sofa a bit i can't fully slot under the sofa um and hang over let me show you what they look like here with like my yogurt and my two drinks like this kind of thing so it slots under the sofa i can't even move my leg to show you it slots under the sofa a bit but not fully because there's a pole under our sofa that either connects to sofas or it's to do with the um mechanics of the recliner so yeah but yeah we got two of them for each sofa so our coffee table has been moved to behind the other sofa um so yeah it's weird and that but i guess we've got more space in the front room now um to to everything and it also means now we're not using that coffee table i don't have to clean it as much <laughs> or do like a good side clean on it i can just like, quickly go over with like a feather duster or something on it um since it's only being kept at the moment for when we redo um this room while well, repainting everything because my dad's um seen that he can, if he stands on it he can reach the ceiling and obviously it's a long coffee well long-ish coffee table so it's easier for him to stand on that than use the step ladder um which then means he has to keep moving the step ladder if he uses that so yeah we're keeping it for that solid reason at the moment but yeah i'm just chilling um i've watched saturday no sunday when i come home i watched both grand prix that i needed to watch um imola well, i think it was imola and um monaco i watched them filled out my f1 journal um the only part that i haven't filled out is the fastest pit stop of monaco because it wasn't like on the app when i was filling it out so i could probably fill that out in a bit um and then the only other thing i have on the planner to watch what is doctor who um so i've got two episodes of that to watch but my sister wants to watch that with me so i've got to wait till she gets home to watch that somewhere during the week or during this week but yeah so i'm just going to be watching youtube since when i was down um at my nan and granddad's um i didn't really go on my ipad that much or to watch youtube or anything i just mainly used my ipad on the off chance that i actually did some filming down there um but yeah so i've got a lot to catch up on which i've been trying to catch up on since sunday um, I think I'm like six days behind at the moment on my videos on my subscription box. So, slowly getting there. But I've got like 38 videos on my um, watch later list, which I need to watch. Which I'm going to watch today. I'm just putting it on TV and going to just straight watch some YouTube today. Um... 
<laughs> yeah, gonna do that. Um, obviously, three of the videos are obviously ones that are to do with books, so I can't do them because I have like spoiler videos for books which I want to read. And then I've got um, two videos which are podcast ones one for bookmarked and one for basically unfiltered or basically X unfiltered, I can't remember what it's called. Um, they are last week's um podcast episode so i need to watch them to catch up with them and then i think i've got like nine or so of um another podcast which i'm starting to watch and that's now i'm watching slash listening to what five podcasts now i'm going to be um so yeah so i've got like loads to catch up on with podcast wise but yeah and then all the rest are just um my subscription videos plus i think there's a couple other like random videos on there as well but yeah so i'm just gonna chill and do that today um i don't know what i'm gonna have for lunch I was supposed to, to see if the, um, yesterday I was going to ask to see about the wraps in the cupboard. Or s Sunday I was going to ask about the wraps in the cupboard, um, to see if they were going to be used for anything. If not, then I would use them up during the week for lunch. But, um, I forgot. So, yeah, going to have to ask tonight um because i don't know if they were the wraps from before i went away if they are then they could be a bit gross um <laughs> since it's been like a week or so but because i made some wraps for tea the day before i left um for me and my dad for tea um so i'm like are they them ones or are they a new lot? I'm not sure. But yes, I'm like, oh, let's go back. Let me check them if they are not pretty then. Check them if they're fine then. I'll have them for lunch or something. I'll make like a tortilla wrap, like pizza kind of thing. And that, because I've had that the past couple of days and it's actually quite nice. Well, the past couple of days before I left or so. Um, but yeah, do that. But I don't know what I'm gonna have for lunch today. Or anything. I might have a couple of the cakes that I bought back. Um, the pack of two chocolate you ones were at Sunday. Um, I had one and then my dad had one. The other. Um, and then yesterday, like lunchtime, I had a cake. Um, I had one of like the pink ones with the white chocolate on top. <coughs> um, and then, <coughs> and then my dad had one as well. Since he was, since it was bank holiday, so he wasn't at work. Um, so my dad had one. And then my sister had one in the evening, I think, when she got home from work after tea. And then I ended up having one after tea as well. I think I had the chocolate one after tea. Yeah, I had a chocolate one with like a white chocolate button on top. So the only one I haven't had is the white one. Which I might have in a bit. But yeah. Or I might have after lunch since it's like quarter past 11 roger's gone quarter past 11 so yeah but today is just going to be a day of chilling um watching youtube videos obviously finishing off doing the washing and then doing some more of my reading i haven't done any reading since saturday before i got back um uh, so, yeah, 
So I'm still on page 144 slash chapter 22 um, for the start of 22. So I'm going to see how much more I can read today. Um, I don't think I am going to finish this before going on holiday. Um, but I want to see how much I can read before going on the holiday on Monday. So I've got until Monday to read. So I've got what, today, so that's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I've got what, six days including today um, to read this. Um, but yeah, it does look quite thick. Um, yesterday I didn't end up reading because of the washing. Um, tomorrow I've got the housework to do. So I might be able to read after doing the housework, I'm not sure. And then Thursday, I don't know how much washing I'm going to have. <coughs> um, hopefully it isn't a lot, because I only had a lot of washing this time because my sister didn't go around to doing her washing um, while I was away. So I had a week's worth of hers. I had a week's worth of mine because I was away and then I had like a couple more days add on to that because I stopped washing on a Thursday then obviously to leave on the Saturday um so I had that and then I had like a small amount of my dad's because he's still somewhat done some of his um so yeah so I had a lot and then obviously I have some baby clothes that I need to wash and bring him back so but the baby clothes is one of the washing um, puddles that I need to wash today. And then I've got like one load of my sister's washing to do and then I'm done. So it's not that bad. Um, but yeah. So hopefully I don't have that much washing Thursday. Because it'll just be from yesterday to Thursday's load of washing, hopefully. Um, and then... Uh, any new clothes that my dad's bought because my dad's done a next order I think um and that's so uh, I think he's bought some clothes for holiday and that so yeah there's that I think he bought me a coat in it like a thin like waterproof coat um so that'll be the coat I'm taking on holiday um, because he said, did I have a thin coat? And I was like, no, because I don't really like them. I only have my massive big one. Um, but he said, I should get a thin one. So he ordered me one. And then I think also some like, underwear I needed, some black underwear. So, yeah, I'll have my underwear to wash. My coat doesn't really need washing. I um, won't need washing. And then I think he ordered some clothes as well. So I'll have them to wash whenever they come, if they come in time. I'll probably end up having to do that load of washing on Friday instead. Um, because by the time he gets home, well, it depends if he's working from home or not on Thursday, actually. Um, but, but, but it depends on the time that it gets delivered. Um how much of the washing I would have already done so yeah that will probably be Thursday night or Friday's load of washing but yeah so I'll be doing that load so I don't know if I'll be able to read on Thursday or not well I'll have any time I know there's time to like do stuff in between do, like putting the washing on but I'm like, I don't like to get into reading a book or something while doing that because I'm like up and down all the time doing the washing, especially if there's like a lot of washing. If there's only like a few loads like I'm doing today, I don't really mind. But if there's like loads, then I'm like, nah, I don't want to keep getting like up and down to do the washing. <laughs> and that was having to stop reading and stuff. But yeah, I'm just going to chill. My throat is starting to hurt and I don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, I might ask my dad when he phones to say he's on his way home if he can pop to the shops or something and get a pack or a box of soluble 
um, like paracetamol. Um, I think it's called Panadol, the one that um, I got for down my nan and granddad's um, because I had a headache. So I was like, get some paracetamol. But because I can't swallow a tablet, well, I find it hard to swallow a tablet um, to the point where I like hide it in like my food um, when I had to take one. Um, that I'm like, it's easier just to get a soluble one, one that will just go into like some juice or something. I always take it with some juice or squash. I don't know what it is. It's always a small cup of squash. I always had a soluble, I think it's called soluble, soluble um, tablet in. I don't know what it is about it, but yeah. Um, I had a pack. I have a pack for down that at my nan and granddad's because um, I was getting a headache and then now I'm like I probably need something um, so I'm like if my dad rings for when he's on his way home and he's near a supermarket or shop I might see if he can get some for here um, so yeah I don't normally take medication when I'm like ill. I'm normally like, oh, I can deal with it, whatever. But this time I'm like, my throat hurts. And I'm going on holiday in mon on Monday. Which ain't the best. Um, but yeah. I don't think there's anything seriously wrong with my throat. It just is a bit sore. Um. So yeah, sometimes I'm just gonna chill today. I might go and look for something for lunch now. And then when it comes 12 o'clock, then I know what I'm gonna have for lunch and I can just straight up make it and go from there, I think. So guys, it is Wednesday. I am just chilling. Um, it's like two minutes to 11. And that and I've only just gotten out of bed and finished getting ready. Well, nearly finished getting ready. I just need to brush my teeth. Um, but I thought I'd pop on um, and end this video and everything so I can be uploaded on time. Well, I did it and uploaded on time um, for today. Um, but yeah, but I got a parcel yesterday. So I thought, why not open it with you guys? Um, I didn't open it yesterday because I was just busy, like up and down doing the washing and distracted by watching YouTube. Um, and then last night, I just couldn't be bothered to open it. So I'm opening it now. I know what it is anyway, but I knew what it was anyway, so it wasn't bad. Just some dry shampoo. I got three of them. I got a pack of three. Um, they're just the got to be um, dry shampoo, instant fresh up, extra volume dry shampoo. And that's so, yeah, I got three of them. Um, I still have a can of dry shampoo. Um, but it is running out, so I thought I need some more. Some of that. Plus, my sister wanted to borrow my dry shampoo, um, and I didn't know how much I had left in the can anyway. But she hasn't even used it yet, so yeah. Don't know when she wants to use it, but yeah, I have extras. Um, but yeah, so I thought instead of just getting one, um, since the other one is almost out, I might as well get a pack of three, so then I've got two extra and everything, since I'll probably take it on holiday with me as well. So, yeah, I've got that. Um, I've also got a few more other parcels coming today. Um, 
I think at least two of the things is my sister's birthday present um which she asked for so I got her that stuff and that's coming today I've got two more other things that I want to get my sister for <coughs> her birthday but I'm gonna order them when I get back off holiday um because it's just gonna be easier to do it that way and uh, yeah do that um but yeah i'm gonna finish getting ready for the day also finish off doing the washing since i didn't even finish the other last lots of washing that i had yesterday so i've got more washing to finish and do so i'm gonna do that and then go from there so yeah fun times Yay. And do the washing and also the housework. It's just a day of doing a lot of stuff. Also, yesterday when I said I was going to do some reading, I did do some reading. I just didn't read a lot. I read up to page 154. So I read like what? Around 10 ish pages. And that my book yesterday i might take it downstairs see if i can read it um i don't know if i will be able to with the normal washing and the housework today while doing some more washing and the housework today um but yeah got that to do so i will see if i can do any more reading but yeah i feel like this week is just going to be a week of doing house of the housework doing like washing and laundry so that's gonna be fun i also yet to still get out some of the clothes that i want to take um i got out some when i was putting half of my washing away from monday and then i just left the other half of my washing on my chair so i haven't even gotten out anything from that that i want to take on holiday so yeah, fun times that was. Um, so I might do that tonight actually. Go through my other washing pile and get out the clothes that I want to take on holiday so then I don't wear them. And go from there I think. And do that. But yeah, I'm just gonna try to wake up a bit until for today so i will see you guys sunday for another vlog bye